A very wonderful good morning to my dear kids. How are you all? I hope you all are fine. Okay, kids, in today's maths class, we are going to learn about another method to represent data that is bar graph. Kids, bar graph can be drawn in two ways, horizontal or vertical, right? Now kids, we will draw a bar graph on a graph paper and learn how to draw the bar graph using one example. Come on kids, let's learn. This is a bar graph. It has two axes, one x-axis and y-axis. x-axis is horizontal one and y-axis is vertical one right so this is the title of the bar graph what we are going to know in this bar graph the strength of classes right next thing these two are the labels we are talking about the number of students this y-axis is talking about number of students and x-axis is talking about class that for example i want to see how many students are there in class one so in class one we have the bar till here. So, how many students are there? There are 40 students, right? Similarly, in class 2, we have bar till this, this uh, point. So, how many students in class 2? 50. Next, class 3, there are 35 students. Next, class 4, there are 60 students. Class 5, there are 65 students. Next class 6, there are 70 students. Now this is your scale. These numbers, the numbers where we have represented, this is our scale, right? So our scale may vary according to our data, right? See, as we can see in the example, we have the numbers that are easily divisible and multiple by 5. So we have taken the scale, the range from 0 to 5, 5 to 10, 10 to 15. Now if we have because we can't draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 until we have last 70. Our range is up to 70. Our maximum number is up to 70. So we can't draw it till 70 as it will require much space. So we have taken our intervals from 0 to 5, 5 to 10, 10 to 15, 15 to 20. It all depends on our data. As in this example, we have multiples of 5. So I have taken gap of 5 in each. Is it clear? Okay kids, now I hope you all have learned how to draw a bar graph. So practice it. Thank you so much.